Alright, so welcome back to what I have noticed, because I haven't seen any other channels that do this, but I am the only YouTube channel that will do college career and the NFL career all in the same video. So you're getting some of the only content that does college and the pros for you, so come on, help him guy out. Let's grow this channel a little bit and sub, like what you see, comment who you want to see, because... We'll do colleges. We'll do college teams. I'll do it for basketball when basketball season starting to hit and the football season starts dying. I'll do it, you know, because I'm the only one who's doing it. Full careers. When you get career mode, you are getting from college to the pros. You are getting it all here. So today's player that we are going to be focusing on is Marion the Barbarian Barber. And... Just like the Dwayne Haskins, Marion Barber did pass away earlier this year. Um, there was a great video that Flimmo Raps did. I think it was a couple years ago he did it though, but he re like re uploaded it again and added some new, you know, information on there. So I can leave a link down there if you guys want to watch it. But it gives you know everything that possibly happened with maybe cte i don't know i'm not a doctor so i'm not gonna go into it i know there was a lot of off field things that were going on with him and just you know there was a lot that was going on and it all could possibly be circled back to cte but we're not gonna get into that we're gonna remember him for the positives and we are gonna go back to college back to minnesota we are here in ncaa 02 in 02, so watch, because I figured out how to um, edit the rosters because I'm an idiot. So, yeah, we can go back a little bit further to the old school days here. So, we got our boy here, Marion Barber. Um, yeah, it won't let me look at his rating, but I gave him an 87. I know that's a little high, but I believe he was like a second round pick or a third round pick. So, it wasn't like he was, you know... A nobody back here and I did some of the roster obviously it's a pain in the ass to do all of the roster um, also because there's just not a lot of information and I'm not gonna go through every single players you know I only did like players like obviously I didn't get to these ones yet so these people aren't gonna have names um, obviously some do have the names here that I was able to get to but I only did as much as I could it just takes a long time, so if you want to see more content, let me know. I'll tr I try to get the rosters as accurate as I possibly can here. Um, I think when I do the older ones, like for Jerry Rice or Walter Payton or something like that, I'm just going to use the roster from the college game and just go from there. Because it's just going to be a pain in the butt. But yeah. Anyway, let's head on to our first season and let's see how Minnesota does. I'm hoping Big Ten title... Possibly a bowl game win too, but let's see what our boy does as well. All right, so we started off really well. Like we were, I was actually a little worried. I was like, oh god, did I like break the game? Like we were doing really well there. I mean, we, I think we won the first five games, but we ended up, you know, slowing down a bit, and we went seven and four. So not terrible for our first year. Um, we are going to play in the Sun Bowl against UCLA, which. Um, I don't know if any of you guys watched UCLA, because as I'm recording this, this is on Saturday morning. Saturday, so I j didn't find out what happened with UCLA yet. So if they ended up beating Washington, that's a big up. So maybe we can beat UCLA? I mean, let's find out if we can do it. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm randomly going on here. I'm watching the highlights of the game of UCLA and Washington, so it's just on my mind. So let's just go to the highlight. Let's just... Okay, shut up and go to the game. All right, so getting some content here. Um, it's a close game. It is six to nothing right now because we just kicked the ball back to them for some freaking reason. It was like fourth and two. Like we should have just went for the fourth and two to make sure we get the first down and the win. Um, the quarters are only like two minutes, so there is not many. There's not much stats to really show here. And we just got an interception and we just won that game. Oh my god, that is what we needed right there. Oh, thank God for you, 35. Hell yes. Being, I think they were the rank, the eighth ranked team. We, we got, we ended up getting ranked 22nd. So 
It's not like we're a slouch ourselves here. We actually are a pretty good team here, and we are going to go out on top here. Beating the 8th ranked team. Like, who do they think they are? They ain't going to beat us. We're the best team. We're the best team here. I mean, we started off great. Granted, we kind of died in, towards the end of our season there, but hey, we're still a great team. We are going to go 8-4 and four to finish off our first year. I don't know if... The back in front of us, the starting back is going to leave and go to the pros or if he's going to come back another year. I'm not 100% sure what he's going to do. I kind of hope he does leave so that we can be the starter and all the focus will be on Barber and not Redmond. So I'm hoping, but I absolutely have no idea what's going to happen. Like if he does leave, I'm not going to try and fight him to come back. We don't want him to come back. We want to, oh, they're the 4th ranked team. I thought they were the 8th ranked team. That's even better for us. Because we are going to skyrocket up the polls after this. Like, we should at least anyway. But that is it. We have ended up winning this game 6 to nothing. Probably the ugliest score I've ever seen. I mean, gosh, this is like the what? The Broncos and 49ers game last week, I think it was, on Sunday night? Yeah, the... the this is just as bad as that. Maybe a little worse. Who the hell called the timeout? Why are you calling a timeout with one second left? I don't, I don't know who did that, but let's go on and see what he did for the season after this. So Barber did not have himself a bad year at all. Rushed for 656 yards, had 11 touchdowns. Let me repeat that. 11 touchdowns. How do you get that? Holy hell. He had 15 receptions for 160 yards, 3 touchdowns. I mean, this boy was ridiculous this year. He had a hell of a lot more touchdowns than the main running back. Like, did we just decide to give it to Barber towards the goal line and said, here you go, bulldoze into there? I mean, Jesus. So, not a bad year. I can't wait to see what he does. I'm hoping he leaves. I'm hoping Redmond leaves, but we'll find out next year. As we end it off on a high note, let's hope next year is just as good. Okay, so we went from playing UCLA, who I found out ended up winning that game, which was crazy, because Washington almost came back and won it. Now we're going to play Washington in the Sun Bowl, because Sun Bowl is apparently where we got to go every freaking year. Let, let's... Uh, we did the, almost the exact same thing as we did last year. This year, we went 6-0 and before we lost three straight games, and then we won one, and then we lost another one. So, I mean, maybe next year we'll win seven games in a row, and then maybe get a little bit of a better record, because we went 7-4 and four again. So, let's just hope we can win another game and be two-time Sun Bowl champions, apparently. We're going to repeat as champions, I guess. All right, well... This is a very close, close game. Um, it's been a very crappy game, I will say. I'd say this one's probably a lot worse than the last game. And did he catch it? I have no idea if he caught it. No, did he? Yes? I think he caught it? I have no idea if he caught that. I could not see anything. Okay, he did catch it. Son of a biscuit. Now they're closer to the goal line, so now, well, okay, I thought they were closer. I could not, I just, I had no idea what was going on here. I was so freaking confused. So it doesn't, okay, now it's second and ten. What the actual hell? Oh my god, that was a terrible throw. That was the worst throw I've ever seen. How did you throw that bad of a pass? Oh my god, hey, I'll take it. If you're gonna throw us... You know, if you're just going to give up the ball that easily, we'll take it. Now we just need to march down the field, tie, you know, kick a field goal and win this game. I mean, as ugly as it is, we need to score here. They're going to... Oh, okay. I really thought they were going to run it. And... Oh my god, you have got to be freaking kidding me. Are you freaking... Why are we throwing that pass? Why are we throwing that stupid of a freaking pass? That was... What the hell? That... Oh my god. And there's no challenges either back then. Son of... What the fuck were we thinking? That was the worst... That was the worst pass. That... 
fire. If, at that point, you might as well have just ran the ball because even if he got tackled, we're losing yards. You know, you should have thrown it deep. I don't know why we're throwing it freaking five inches away from us when we're in the backfield. The biggest turnover we end up having, and it cost us. They threw two interceptions, and it didn't cost them at all. So unless we get great, excellent field position, this game's over. Like, there is no way we're coming back and winning this, considering we haven't done anything all game. Damn. How do you screw that up? Like, seriously. How do you screw that up? Unfreak- I- I don't. At that point, you might as well just ran the ball. Ran the ball and run the clock out. What What are you doing? What are you pointing? Saying, yeah, go block over there. Just, just, I, uh. I'm sorry. I'm just aggravated because that was just so dumb. That could have easily been avoided. And I don't know what the hell they were thinking. I have no idea what the hell they were thinking. So now we have to somehow figure out how to score in less than 20 seconds when it's taken us forever just to score to begin with. So I, I have no faith. I have no faith because of course they don't have Marion Barber back there catching these dimes and making it look good and easy. So I, I just, oh my god, why did you throw that? Just, uh. Alright. Here we go. So, okay. See, now we're throwing smart passes. How many timeouts do we have? I don't even know how many. Okay. Okay, we're, we're, we're marching down the field. So I'm cool with this. I have no idea how many timeouts we have, though. It would be nice to see how many of those we have so we have an idea of what we're working with here. But I have no idea. Why are you throwing a pass? like? Why, why are you running like that? Like... Set your feet and throw. Stop trying to make it look like you're being rushed. There was nobody by you. Like, relax, dude. Relax, okay? We got this. Alright, let's see what he does here. I think this guy's a freshman, too. I think he's like a freshman that we just... Oh, my God. 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 He scored! He scored! Wait, why are you celebrating? Wait. Are you so... I don't, I don't know what the hell he is doing. But oh my god, that was a beautiful pass. I don't know what the hell you were doing. That could have easily went bad. But of course, pass it to Burns. Our go-to receiver there. Hell yeah. Tie this game up. We're going in OT, aren't we? Alright, if we make this kick, I'll basically just go right to overtime and see what ends up happening. Because if we miss this kick, I'm probably going to throw the computer all over the damn place. Because that's going to be bull crap. I mean, holy hell. Okay, thank God. Oh, I don't know how we did that. I have no idea how we did that, but that was impressive. So we're going to head over to overtime, see what ends up happening. If anything close to happening of scoring, because this is just, you score, that's it. Kick a field goal, you win, like, simple, back then. All right, going into OT. Let's see what happens here, guys. I forgot this is college, not the pros. So we get a chance to score. They get a chance to score. I totally forgot all about that. So. Okay, that almost went bad right away. But I will not show the whole thing. I will go. If we end up scoring, then I'll show if Washington ends up scoring. Because, yeah. Wow. Holy crap. He missed the field goal. I wish I would have recorded it. Because I didn't want to spend 25 minutes recording the same game. But he missed the field goal and when Washington is apparently ranked 15th they are losing games apparently to a lower team holy hell that was such a crazy game there I mean we almost got our got it intercepted like three or four times on our series then they almost threw an interception then they fumbled it and we recovered I mean, it was nuts and then he hits the pull that makes him makes them lose the game so we are two times Sun Bowl champions we still got two more years left before he ends up leaving college and we're done and we go to the pros. I will sim past those pretty quickly so we don't have to spend 20 minutes on a game. I'll go to like the, towards the end of it just so we can see who ends up winning. But we'll see his stats, see what he did this year, and then we'll move on to his junior year. 
All right, so he had another great year. I made him the starter this year because I want, you know, let's give him the ball. Like, it's his year, you know? That's why he didn't play in the game because he was injured for seven freaking weeks. And he still rushed for over a thousand yards and had 18 touchdowns. Like, this dude is a beast. What did he do? He even did better receiving-wise. Had 24 receptions for 346 yards, 4 touchdowns. I mean, this dude's a beast. He is a beast in college. Like, there's just... There's no way around it. He is just an absolute beast, an absolute monster. And I can't wait to see what he does in his next two years. Um, so... I don't know what actually happened to him. I'm gonna sim this year and see if he transferred, but... I don't know why he would have transferred. He was starting running back. I mean, maybe he left to go to the pros. I didn't look at players leaving because I assumed him being a sophomore, he wasn't going to leave. But, um, yeah, I'll see what happened and get back to you on that one. I have no idea what actually happened. Okay, so I have no idea what ended up happening to him. He might have actually left early, and I had no idea that he ended up leaving early. So, um, yeah, that court cuts this one a little bit short, but... I guess we are heading to the pros now, and we are going to head to the NFL and see what he does with his pro career. Alright, so we are here in Madden 06, and fourth round pick with the Cowboys. There's a lot of competition here. He's got Anthony Thomas. He's also got um, Julius Jones is still here. So there's a lot of people here, but I'm sure over time we'll... He'll make the starting lineup, and we won't have to worry too, too much. As you can see, he is just full beast mode here. Get a little training camp with him just to see how he plays, see how he does. And yeah, let's see how he ends up doing on his first year, in his rookie year. Will he have a great year? Will he win rookie of the year? I don't know, but let's find out. Um, also, wanted to say before we got any further is that... Um, Obviously, for the first five years, I'm just going to sim past him. Unless something big happens, like we get into the playoffs for the first time, or if we make it to the Super Bowl or something like that, then I'll show the height, like I'll show content. But other than that, I'm just going to sim by the first five years, just so the video isn't like 45 to two hours long, you know? So we'll sim through the first five years. I'll show you his stats, let, it, let you know if he's won any awards, any Pro Bowls, Obviously, if we go to the playoffs those years, I'll show the playoffs and everything like that, everything that we do. But just to keep it short is I'll only do five-year increments every time. So I'll show you his five years and his next five years and so on and so forth. So obviously, you know, simple stuff, but just rather point it out before we get to the five years and everyone's like, whoa, why did we get here? So just in case for the, you know, for the new people. All right, so first year, we're already in the playoffs, so let's hope we can end this with a win. You know, let's advance to the next round, the first round here, or the first year. All right, well, we didn't win this game. We got our butts kicked. Got to see Tony Romo play, so there was that. But, um, yeah, we did not have a good game, as you can see. We ended up losing by 10 points. Started off well, and it just didn't go in our favor at all, so... Let's head on to the next five years and maybe we can do something in the playoffs. You know, maybe we can make a playoff run that will make up for this and hopefully we won't be like every other career that we have had so far and it's just we miss the playoffs every freaking year. Alright, so it has not started off the way we exactly wanted it to. Um, it's been a rough couple of years for us. Wise. Team wise, um, our first two years. We actually managed to make it to the playoffs. The second year, we made it. We went from the wild card to the divisional round, but we ended up losing in the divisional round. I cannot remember who we ended up losing to, but then we missed it, then made it, then made it back to the divisional round to lose again, and then we missed it this year. But as you can see, didn't get much playing time the first couple years. Um, it wasn't until this year when I put him as the starter because I was getting tired of him not getting any playing time. I mean, I think in the four years before, he had like 900-something yards. So him having 900 this year, being the first full-time starter, 
definitely help, you know, seven touchdowns, which is the most, obviously. Like, it was definitely his best year, and we don't need to look at the fumbles that he lost. We, we don't need to see that. Um, Receiving-wise, definitely his best year. Oh, God, he had 11 there and still only had that many? I mean, did he get any touchdowns? No, he hasn't gotten any touchdowns. But, yeah, definitely a better year overall. I just didn't want to affect it, but I figured since he wasn't moving up in the depth chart, he was the third string running back. I figured it was time to put him as the starter. There was no sense in keeping him as the backup at all. So, unfortunately, it's been a rough couple of years. Um, hopefully, now that he's the starter, maybe we can start doing, maybe start seeing some improvements here. Maybe see a pro ball. I doubt we're going to see any player of the year or anything like that, unless he has, like, a massive great year. But, hopefully, we can do something. We haven't really been able to get out of the division around, obviously, it's just been rough. Um, I was hoping we'd get to the Super Bowl so I could show you some content, but right now, just we got nothing. Right now, it's just been rough. So, let's head on to the next five years, unless we get to the playoffs and make it par, make it to the championship. So, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Alright, so it feels like it's been like three days since I've gone to this point. I don't know why. It just feels like it's taking forever. But, the next five years, I... I don't, I'd say it's a lot better now that we're a starter, but as you can, I, I, I just don't know, like, after this, like, we got robbed on some of our Pro Bowl years, like, which year is it? Um, last year, actually, our ninth year. This should have been our first Pro Bowl, like, 100%. There was only one player in the NFC who was better than us. Nobody else was better than us. We had 1,300 yards, over 1,300 yards, nine touchdowns. The person who had the most that year, I think Kevin Jones, he had like over 1,400 and 13 touchdowns. Yes, he should have been the best back and he should have been a Pro Bowl. The other two guys who were ahead of us, one didn't even have a winning record for their team, two had less yards than us. I think both of them had under had a little over 1,200 yards, had less touchdowns than us, and yet we still did not get a Pro Bowl but bid. And we were third in the best running back category. Like, so we got gypped. 100% got gypped. You know, our receiving isn't been great um, because it's been more of a focus on the running game. Um, but still, like, that was our best year, and we're not going to get there. Obviously, since... We've become the starter. We have clearly had a better rushing time. Um, obviously, I mean, the last couple years, we have not... We've Our seventh year, I should say. Our seventh year, we made it to the conference finals. I was going to show it, but it took forever. It took four overtimes. I'm not even kidding. Four freaking overtimes just for us to end up blowing it. It was just ridiculous. Like, I was bored sitting here watching it because I can't sim through it once you get into the game. So I thought the game was over. We were up 3-0 going into the fourth quarter. There was 30 seconds left. I was like, all right, I'll show some content because we're about to win this game and go to the Super Bowl. No, that didn't happen. We ended up freaking losing and blowing the game. So, and then at, that was the only year we made. We have missed it the last three years. I have no idea what our contract is right now. We have one year left. I don't know if this is the year that it's left or we have one more after this. I have no freaking idea. Obviously, no awards, which is absolute bullcrap. No Pro Bowls. Like, it's just bullcrap. We got robbed this year. Um, obviously, we played more years than the real Marion Barber. He only played seven years, um, but he got a Pro Bowl. Like, unlike us, we have not gotten a Pro Bowl yet. Like, we got gypped here. And I'm kind of pissed off about that. It's like absolutely ridiculous that we did not get a Pro Bowl that year. So, nothing special has happened. Um, I'll go another five years or until he retires. But I don't know if we're going to ever get a Pro Bowl. Like, this was our best chance to get the Pro Bowl. And we didn't get it. Like, there's just somebody a little bit better than us, I guess. You know, having a thousand yards every year i think every the last five years we have had over a thousand yards but yet we just cannot get that love though like we just cannot get it so it kind of sucks but there's nothing we can do about it so let's just hope for the best and hopefully we can do something 
in the Super Bowl, like, get to it, anything. I'd like some content, but I have no idea. So let's go on to the next five years. Okay, so we um ended up retiring here. Um, played 12 years, so played five more years than he did in real life. Um, kind of shocked that he even retired. But being 34, I guess I can understand it, and being a running back. I mean, he did play a lot of years. As you can see, didn't have a great year last year. Only 700 yards. That's the worst we've had in, since our 09, since we first checked it in the first five years. So, I mean... Ended up playing his last year in New York, which he shouldn't have even been on New York because he, for some reason, wasn't on the Cowboys. And then when I went to go look for him on the Cowboys, he wasn't on the Cowboys. So I was like, okay, well, did he retire? So when I checked the retired players, he wasn't on the retired players. So I was like, where the hell is he? And I'm like, okay, he's a free agent. So like, all right, well, I'll let him, you know, I'll go through the first couple of things. I think I went to the free agent signing or after the draft. I forget which one is first. So he got signed. He went to the Saints the first time. I was like, okay, cool. He can be the starter here. No problems. Then when the season starts, I'm at the Saints training camp to boost him up a little bit to help him because there's no harm and no foul. I give him like one or two points. That's about it. There's nothing else I can really do to make him any better. All of a sudden, he wasn't on the Saints. And I'm like, what the hell? Where is he? Like, he was just on the Saints. I saw that he was on the Saints. So looked around, looked around, and ended up finding out he was on the Giants. So I don't know if the Saints traded him, or released him, or what happened. But he ended up being on the Giants, and it pissed me off because the Saints went to the Super Bowl. I don't know if they won because I was too pissed to even look. But yeah, they went to the Super Bowl. I was like, he could have been to the Super Bowl, and we could have finally had some content. Like... He played a good amount of years, had some decent seasons, but never really got anything because he never really made it anywhere, you know? It kind of sucks. I mean, in his receiving, his receiving just went down. Like, it just never got any better. Um, that's just because we it was only a focus on his rushing. That's all he really had. So, I mean, yeah, they acquired him free agency. So, I don't know why the Saints ended up signing him just to release him like that was just stupid but i mean not terrible of a you know career played 12 years in the league you know had some i mean unfortunately he never made it to a pro bowl which kind of sucks and he missed the playoffs like the last five or six years it was like they didn't even make it to the playoffs so that was even more full crap but i mean not terrible stats here at all it definitely could have been a whole lot worse um, I'll match up all of his numbers and stuff to real life and what we've got going on if he's any better than the last running back we had who was what Trent Richardson I don't know why I feel like I didn't know that considering that was literally the last one so I don't think he is as good as Trent Richardson was um, never went to went to the playoffs a few times uh, uh, excuse me the best year they had was the conference and that was about it he didn't make it any further than that. Always lost in the second round or just didn't make the playoffs. Because the Cowboys teams were up and down all the time. So, I'll see what he did overall. I don't think he got anywhere near close to what Trent Richardson did. So, he might be the second best back we have. But, you never know. Alright, so let's take a look at his overall stats. Like, compared to... The real NFL records. Um, with carries, he had 2,754, which ranked him 19th all-time. Yards, he only had 9,155, which gave him 39th. And then TDs, he only had 49, which tied him for 83rd. And basically, he was in second place for everything else. You know, Trent Richardson basically blew him out of the water. There was no way he was going to catch up to him Trent Richardson Trent, Trent Richardson had himself a hell of a career and he I think he played longer too so he even had more of a chance to add on to it and he just had good years all the time it took us four five years to finally get there so I mean it, it was a rough career but unfortunately I don't think he is hall of fame worthy